Okay, in this presentation, we're going to look at binomial coefficients. Okay, so this is just a couple of certain examples. So the n choose k from n items, how many ways can we choose k items? Okay, so this is uh, two different types of notation n choose k. We have a superscript to the left and a subscript to the right. n, at the, uh, the, n on the left, um, k on the right, and c in the middle. Uh, another notation is this n over k, or not over k, actually, it's not a fraction. But it's just the sort of the, the way the brackets are laid out, n and k. It's like an, uh, a matrix of sorts. But it is essentially the two notations are equivalent to each other. Now, this is how you evaluate them. Okay. So in, I'm going to sort of use both of these notations interchangeably because I, I feel actually it's a good idea to learn both. Now, but the, um, the, the way to calculate them is using factorials. n factorial, n factorial over k factorial. Uh, times n minus k factorial. Okay, so let's work that out for the first one. Uh, n choose, from n choose three, okay? So again, I'll just use, I'll sort of alternate between the two notations there. This is six factorial over three factorial times six minus three factorial, which is also three factorial. So that's six factorial over three factorial times three factorial okay what we want to do is see if we can simplify that expression so what we get is what we can do there is with the numerator we express that as six times five times four times three factorial all over three factorial times three factorial now you can sort of see there very quickly that the three fact that we have we can cancel out three factorial and three factorial that means we are left with 6 by 5 by 4 over, let's evaluate 3 factorial, that's 3 by 2 by 1. That's also equal to 6, okay? So that cancels out with that, that, and that. And we're left with 5 by 4, which is equal to 20. Great, okay. So let's do another one here, okay? So let's go 5 choose one and again i'm deliberately alternating notation okay so that is equal to five factorial over one factorial times four factorial okay and that is equal to five times sorry just to be clear uh k here is equal to one n is equal to five k n minus k is equal to five minus one which is equal to four now what I'm going to do there is let 5 factorial equal to one uh, 5 times 4 factorial. Okay. So I think it's actually, this is very similar to the last exercise. Okay. Uh, the 4 factorials cancel out and we are left with 5 over 1 factorial. 1 factorial just being 1, so the answer there is 5. Now, Let's just actually do something similar here. Now, just this is deliberately picking up on the last case. So I'm sort of this. I want to sort of sync up as much as I can to what I've just done previously. So consider this the second half of the same example. N choose four. So we have five factorial over k factorial, which is four factorial. N minus k is five minus four, which is one factorial. Okay. So if you actually just sort of look at the example we've just done previously, that is actually equal to five choose one, which is also equal to five, okay? Now, uh, just as a remark, I'm going to sort of, there's a sort of interesting result there, but I'm gonna leave it there, but that's not a coincidence, okay? And that, okay, so what I'm gonna do there, so just actually just a sort of quick remark on that, that, that to sort of come back to that in a, pre, a future video. So, 5 choose 0. Sorry, actually, uh, 5 choose 0. Okay, alternative notation. That is equal to 5 factorial over 0 factorial. 5 minus 0, simply 5. Uh, 5 minus 0, okay. Now, so we have 5 factorial over 0 factorial times 5 factorial. Okay. Now, this is the important bit. Zero factorial is equal to one, always. 
okay? That's critical, okay? So what we have here is 5 over factorial over 1 times 5 factorial, which is essentially the 5 factorials cancel out, okay? And we're just left with 1 over 1. So it's just 1, okay? Now, similarly, you can actually show that that is also the same result for 5 choose 5, which is to be written like that. Sorry, I just forgot to push the page up there. Okay. So I think actually that's a sort of fairly uh, practical, uh, essentially just a sort of that helps us get started very quickly with uh, binomial coefficients, choose operator, so I don't think I need to do any more, so I will leave it there.